Many people are aware of the Artemis program, a series of missions created by NASA that aims to put people back on the moon for the first time in over 50 years and create a permanent lunar base. However, the exact plans for the construction of this lunar base have remained vague, and we don't really know how the space will be built. China, however, has their own plans. China's plans for a moon base are far more detailed than the Artemis program. It involves three phases, reconnaissance, construction, and resource utilization. China is extremely serious about these plans, and they have already more than proved themselves capable of doing something like this, as I explained in other videos. The question is not if it's possible, but when and how they will do it. So, this video will serve as an overview for just how China plans to colonize the moon. We'll start right away with phase one. This phase of China's moon base is already almost complete. It mainly involves China's Chang'e program, which has already put several rovers on the moon, including the first ever landing on the lunar far side. Each Chang'e mission, which at the time of making this video is up to Chang'e 5, has been more sophisticated than the last and has had more complicated objectives. So far, only Chang'e 6, 7, and 8 are left to launch. These three missions are the most important to the whole program. Chang'e 6 will be another landing on the lunar far side, but unlike Chang'e 5 that came before it, 6 will return samples to Earth, making them the first ever samples of the far side of the moon. It's set to launch in the final half of 2024. Chang'e 7 will be targeting a landing at Shackleton Crater, a crater on the lunar south pole that's the best place on the moon to establish a colony thanks to its potentially large water deposits and constant sunlight on the crater rim, which is perfect for solar power. 7 will have a lander, rover, orbiter, and something they're calling a mini-hopping probe to make detailed studies of Shackleton Crater, which will very likely be used for the development of China's lunar base. It's set to launch in 2026. Chang'e A is the final step of the reconnaissance phase, and it's the most important. It will also land somewhere on the lunar south pole in 2028. It will be China's first view of in-situ resource utilization, or ISRU, on the moon. They plan to have Chang'e 8 to use lunar material to create bricks on the moon. Depending on how Chang'e 8's ISRU experiments go, this will be the end of phase 1, and phase 2 will begin. After 8's mission is concluded, the construction of China's lunar base is expected to begin. During this phase, China will likely send its first astronauts to the moon. Assuming China keeps to its current pace, the first crewed moon landings of this phase should occur in 2029 or 2030. So far, China also has plans for the construction of this base, which they're calling the International Lunar Research Station, or ILRS. China will be working with international partners to construct this space, and so far, there are a handful of countries on board. These are China, Russia, Pakistan, Egypt, South Africa, Belarus, Azerbaijan, and the strongest of all the great space powers, Venezuela. While the space will be international, it's clear that China will be by far the biggest contributor, with Russia as a distant second, and so it's pretty clear the space will be China-dominated. Like China's Chang'e program, Russia launched Luna 25 to help the reconnaissance phase of the base, and I think we all know how that went. So, for this video, I'll be considering ILRS to be a Chinese-owned base, which it pretty much will be. There are five major missions China plans to launch to start the construction of the base, which, as of right now, are named ILRS-1 through 5. ILRS-1 is focused on creating the command center of the base, as well as long-term communications and scientific equipment, which will probably happen around 2031. ILRS-2 will be again focused on science equipment, including lava tube exploration, which is important, as lava tubes are some of the most habitable places on the moon thanks to their isolated environments. Mission 3 will be focused on ISRU experiments to further expand the base, and 4 will be medical-based as well as large-scale sample return missions, and 5 will be focused on astronomical studies. It's safe to assume that while all this is going on, China will continue adding to ILRS like how the International Space Station or Tiangong Station are expanded today by adding new modules. But on the moon, the options are also available to use lava tubes and lunar materials to expand, which isn't available for a space station. So, the opportunities to expand the space are greater than in Earth orbit, despite the challenges it takes to actually get to the moon. It's also likely that China will be sending astronauts to the moon throughout this phase to help study the environment and continue building the base for future astronauts to eventually live in. By now, it's the year 2036, and phase 2 has come to an end, and the final phase of the ILRS has begun. The construction of the ILRS is complete, and China is ready for serious lunar colonization. This is what phase 3 is all about. Large-scale lunar exploration and use of resources to grow ILRS to a base into something much larger. The ILRS will have regular crewed missions at this point, similar to the ISS today. 
The astronauts will maintain and add new modules to the base over the years. Phase 3 is the most vague of China's moon base plans, mainly because it's far off after the construction of the ILRS, and there's really not any specific goals they're working towards anymore. So this part of the video will be my personal speculation as to what happens next, so take this with a grain of salt. The ILRS will continue to expand, as the crew from the base grows to a few astronauts to a few dozen to potentially even a few hundred and beyond. As this happens, resource requirements for the base will also expand, so it's not unlikely that China will begin to add additional mining equipment. And, depending on how tensions rise with American bases that will likely exist at this point, maybe they'll even claim direct lunar territory as part of their growing base. This is probably a few decades in the future. This, of course, goes against the Outer Space Treaty, but I would bet a lot of money that the OSD is currently on its way out and won't matter after 2040. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if Russia begins to split off from the ILRS as it becomes increasingly Chinese-dominated to create its own base, and the ILRS will become a true Chinese colony. In my Colonization of the Solar System series, which is a fictional timeline about how humanity will colonize the solar system, this is the point where the ILRS becomes the Chang'e colony. After this, things become impossible to predict, if they haven't already. One thing is clear, China is taking the colonization of the moon extremely seriously, and the United States is not. There is a serious chance that China will establish a permanent lunar base before the Artemis program can, and they will have first pick on the best spots for lunar resources, which could have serious repercussions for bases from other countries. This is the beginning of a new space race, one that will see the first colonies on the moon. Hopefully, the Artemis program will also begin construction of an American moon base soon, because competition is really what will make these bases expand, for better or worse. The moon is an extremely beneficial place to build a colony, for reasons I've extensively covered in other videos. Whoever builds a base first, or whoever builds a bigger one, will become the dominant power in the world for the 21st century, and will pave the way for them to expand beyond the moon. The colonization of Mars or Venus won't happen without moon bases, and the sooner we get this done, the better. Thank you for watching. I also plan to make another video similar to this about the United States' plan for a moon base, so stay tuned for that. Also watch my other videos about space colonization, like my video about who will colonize the moon first, the United States or China, and if there will be war in space in the near future.